welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. I have waited so long to film it and this might be a bit late. I'm so excited to record this video. I'm so excited to get into it and do the unboxing. But I have signed up to Scrawlerbox. Now, for those of you that don't know, Scrawlerbox is an art subscription box. So every month you get a box from them and it contains art supplies. So I have actually been really, really enjoying Casey Golden and Drawing With Waffles at the minute on YouTube and they do these kind of monthly subscription art boxes and I find it so fun and Billy J I think does them as well but I find them so fun to watch like they're so fun I just love them and I also think it's an absolutely amazing idea to kind of go out your comfort zone in terms of your art and try supplies that you would never pick up in the store so I have no idea what's going to be in this box and um, this actually I think is the March box so I'm so sorry it's late but it's just been sat on my shelf gathering dust why I got my C-stand sorted out um, for that juicy, juicy overhead camera shot, am I right? So I'm really excited to get this unboxed and see what art we can create because I have a very limited pastel palette. There's only certain pencils that I use and I kind of get stuck using the same thing over and over. So it'll be interesting to see how my style's gonna look with colors that I don't normally work with and materials I don't normally work with. This isn't sponsored or anything, this has come out of my own pocket I just really really like the idea and this feels really heavy and juicy so let's get into it shall we okay so here we go scroll our box I'm so excited to break into this this has been on my shelf for so freaking long so I'm really excited to get into it and see what it is I don't think I've seen anyone's video about this one so it'll be interesting to see what it is I can't remember if this is a match box Oh, if this is actually the April box, I'm assuming that it's a March one because I ordered it in March. But ooh, look inside here. So we've got this cute little wrap of tissue and then their logo here, which is really adorable. I love tissue paper. Ooh, ASMR feels on my right. So let's have a break inside. Ooh, let's have a look underneath first and see what this is. Oh, so witty, cute. I think I've seen this in Drawing With Waffles that they put in a sweetie. But I actually think Scrollerbox is a UK subscription box. So let's see what's underneath here. So we've got the featured artist, I think this is. Ooh, we've got loads of these. We've got two prints. We've got two lots of these for some reason. I don't know if you're meant to get two, but we've got two nonetheless. And this is Emily Jarigesakuems. Oh my God, I did terribly describing that. Emily Jarry 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 It says Emily Jarry is known as Sac Saku M's online is a 32 year old French artist based in Clermont Ferrand. But yeah, that's the artist. And I got two of these. How cool. I wonder if Emily will want one. But I really like her texture and detail, so that's pretty cool. Then we also got this colouring page. Ooh, and then we've got this lilac sketchbook. Looks like this frosted thing. This is totally my aesthetic. I'm going to put like, oh, I've got a milk marshmallow sticker that will totally work well on top of here. And then inside this paper, ooh, it's kind of like a textured paper. This is interesting, I'm excited. So let's get into the art supplies and see what is inside here. Ooh, I don't wanna rip this open. Ah, uh, there's no way I've ripped this open neatly. Oh, look at this. Oh, what is this? So we have got a pencil sharpener that looks really nice quality. These remind me of school. We've got a big chunky boy, a big chunky pencil boy uh, by Yuppo, Yuppo, Yuppo I think this is. And it's triangular and it's got a really thick lead on it. So this is going to be interesting. I love the feeling of triangular shaped art supplies. We've got a scroller box uh, vinyl sticker here. What is this? Oh, this feels so nice. What the flip? I think this full pencil is lead. I think this whole thing is lead. And this is Progresso and it's a Koino white. So I'm guessing this is a white pencil of some sort. Interesting. I wonder if it draws on stuff. Oh, it does. 
That's cool, isn't it? So what else have we got? Oh my gosh, you get so much stuff. What the flip? More white pencils. So we've got this Derwent Burnisher here. And it looks like this. I think we got another one. Wait a minute. What's a burnisher? <laughs> I should know what these are. I have no idea what these are. So we've got a burnisher and a blender. So, hmm. How strange. I have no idea what to do with these. And then we have the Pilot Pure Ink V-Ball. Oh, I've never seen one of these before. Uh, it's got this nib on it. Oh, it's kind of like these gel pens. I used to use these in school where the ink blah, where the ink fills this up. And it used to be really nice to draw in. I will actually, let's use this. So, oh, hate using the first page. Let's not use the first page. Uh, let's use a sketchbook and do this. So this is the V-Ball writing pen. I used to write with these type of pens at school. Ooh. And then we've got these Stradler 12 Super Soft Coloured Pencils. So I guess we're doing coloured pencils right now. But you can draw on black. I don't have any black paper. It would have been good if you got black paper to try these white things out with because what am I going to do with these? And this blue. Okay, so not many colours that I usually work with. So I guess we're going to be drawing with these guys today. So we've got some pencils, this big chunky boy, these which I have no idea what to do with. I think if I had black paper this would work really well but I don't have any coloured paper do I? No, I don't think I do. Okay, so the scrawler challenge is enchantress. Each month we provide you with a selection of art supplies and inspiration, but we also want to spark your creativity. Every month we'll give you a challenge word or phrase to be interpreted however you wish. Try and create something only using the supplies in the box. Good luck and don't forget to share your creations with us. Ooh, how exciting! I love stuff like this. So the challenge is enchantress. So we're gonna have to get into it and create an enchantress. I wonder what I wanna draw, I just don't know. So we're only gonna use these supplies in our drawing, oh my gosh. And I'm gonna use the sketchbook that they've actually gave me as well, cause that'll be more interesting. So I was thinking of doing some sort of like witchy enchantress thing. So I'm gonna sketch something out. What should I do? I just don't know. Well, this is really thick. I'm not used to using thick stuff. I'm back with the rubber. Look at this. Maybe I could do a hair all out like this. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start on the next page. So, let's turn the page over and do a fresh one. So this is a really thick lead. Um, so, it's hard to sharpen. Because I don't typically draw really heavy. So, because we've got the pilot here, I'm thinking of doing line art and then wiping out my sketch, which is not something I usually do. So I'm thinking of having a hair crazy. Do you know what I mean? Like an enchantress, cause she's casting a spell. I'm gonna be, make her do the sign. Have you ever seen Final Fantasy, um, is it 10? And Yuna does that weird sign with her hands. I'm gonna do that. What's going on? I can't draw. I forgot how to draw. I'm gonna draw her eyes closed because you know she's focusing on the energy ball. Oh wait, that looks like a happy face, like yeah, or a sad face if you're looking at it the other way around. Okay, we're gonna get rid of the moon off her head. I feel under pressure to create a masterpiece, and this is not going to be. A masterpiece. I am not liking how this is turning out. Well, never mind. Never mind. It's alright. It's fine. It's my first time, guys. Oh, now her boobs are really 
What am I doing? I've legit forgot how to draw. What? I can't, why can't I draw arms anymore? Rest in peace, my ability to draw arms. I'm gonna go in with eyes first. Her eyelashes. You know why I think I've drawn a slant? It's because I put the book like on an angle. This is a lot more harder than I thought it was gonna be. I'm not gonna lie. I thought this was gonna be easier than this, but it's not. There's no yellow, no, I had the idea of yellow in my head. I forgot about that. Never mind. What colour is this? Let's do a swatch of you. Okay, my hair's gonna be this colour. So I'm gonna do the outline for a hair first. Like this. And then I'm gonna go in and colour it. Okay, now I'm gonna go in and cut it. I'm gonna get rid of the graphite again. Like this. I hate ugly graphite lines. Gross. Seriously, how does drawing of waffles and stuff make this look so easy? How do all the other art YouTubers make this look so easy? It's really hard. I'm hoping this will help improve my <laughs> Uh, by trying new techniques and new things. Let's go in with that blender thing. Was this it? Yeah, blender. I wonder what this does. Oh, so it kind of just blends it. I work with coloured pencils a lot, but not like this. Like, my technique isn't like this, if that makes sense. Like I use pencils for finishing off my drawing that I normally use like Copics and stuff and then I'll use pencil to go like around my artwork. I am not happy with how this is turning out. I am not happy with how this is turning out guys, I'm not gonna lie. Fun fact, I've literally just Pause this video and go get my ear pierced. I went downstairs, there's a salon downstairs and I got a third piercing. So now I've got three ear piercings in each side of my ear. I actually got four because I have um, my cartilage at the top of my ear done as well. I wonder if I can salvage this. At the moment, it looks really bad. <laughs> so I'm so sorry, I promise my art is better than this. I'm having fun though. Even though this isn't turning out how I want, this is really fun. It's just like what I wanted to happen. So I'm gonna do a cheeks and I normally just draw circles for cheeks. <laughs> uh, but I'm actually gonna Try and blend it. I'm gonna use this blender and see if this works. Uh, well, oops, that's the burnisher. Wrong one. Wrong one. Ah. Does it blend out? Hmm. Not really, guys. Not really. I'm not gonna lie. What if I should give us some eyeshadow? Maybe blue eyeshadow. What do you think? But yeah, a lot of people make this look so easy on YouTube and it's actually really quite hard. At least I think it is. But it is a really fun way to kind of experiment with different supplies. This does kind of blend it, but just not how I would want it to be blended. Where is that pink colour that we were using? There it is. It blends more, like if there's more graphite laid down, I think it works better with darker colours maybe. This is so weird because you can still tell it's my illustration kind of, but it's just not 
like materials I would use usually. I'm going to draw some shadows on her neck because this will be dark. And then she's going to have like a thing here. Do you think she should have a blue outfit? I always make the hands pink, like I always do the hands dark and then I do the elbows with pink on as well. There you go. Yeah, the pencils are quite soft so it's it's weird to use. It's in the, the, not the best quality pencils but this is only a £15 subscription box. And it is really, really fun. I really like the idea of this. Just, it kind of takes you out of your comfort zone. But I mean, maybe the stars can cover up all the sins in this uh, illustration. Oh well, uh, can't do anything about it now, do it? So yeah, <laughs> this is it. This is the final scrawler box piece. Why don't we draw? Um, the Enchantress's sidekick. Maybe he can be a little blob space dude. Let's draw him and then I've used him and don't feel as bad then. There we go. How cute is this? Well, this is more like it. Let's make him blue. Let's make his little nub thing yellow. Just like the Enchantress is. My hands are so messy now. What's the flip? Let's draw in blue. I hope this is. Please, please be dry. No, it's not dry. Oh well, I'm still gonna do it. Still gonna colour you in. Okay, I'm gonna use that smudgery tool. Where is it? Where's the smudgery tool gone? There it is. This smudgery tool doesn't really work very well. Okay, air blender. This is more my illustration style. I'm gonna give him more eyebrows. Actually, I wanted him to be floating and I've just drawn shadows as if he's like sat on top of something, but never mind. Okay, I just made it weird. I don't know what that is. Okay, that's the Enchantress's pet. It's a little bit cuter than what I've just drawn on this page. And there's that one. The Enchantress and her pet. Two in one illustrations. Not happy with how this hair turned out. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I had fun doing this challenge. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the scroller box done. The first ever art subscription box done. What did you think? Leave it in the comments. I'm a bit feeling a bit weird about it because I don't normally draw and record. I do draw and record, but you know what I mean? Like I felt like there was a lot of pressure to produce something really good, but it's not good. <laughs> Never mind. It never in mind it's well not good in my eyes at least and the hair is all over the place this guy is pretty cute though normally I like to be really really neat and clean and stuff but yeah drawing with these new art supplies is actually really fun it's just something I totally would not normally do I tend to stick to the same supplies over and over again so having this challenge every month really helps my creativity and I think it's really fun and if you want to push yourself definitely try it out I mean they give you a little challenge every month and you just try and illustrate with those tools so yeah if you want to see more let me know in the comments if you want me to keep doing this as a month thing uh, because I had fun doing it even though I didn't like the outcome I still had fun and I hope you guys did too so I will see you in the next one thank you so so freaking much for watching you're the best I will see you in the next one all right then I love you goodbye